Ken Doherty. Yeah, 45. that was a fairly attacking shot by Ken. Not only going for the black, but running it through for the red at the bottom of the pack. I think we'll see Barry flick off the reds to open them up. Probably go down for the blue or bulk colour if he pots this. Slight well, misjudgment there, I think, <coughs> from Barry. I think he thought that we're going to catch the top of the pack and spring off towards the blue, but opened the reds up nicely, but left himself in a spot of bother. Yeah, he's 44 behind. <laughs> Ken Doherty just uh, needs to get in Green again, ball. you feel, to probably go on and win the frame. So, got to be careful here. Foul. And a miss. Barry Hawkins one. I think Barry Four. looks like he's still on the beach, David. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is <laughs> welcome back, isn't it? it? It looks like Ken actually has been practicing, and Barry maybe uh, not so much. So, as I say, just one. needing really one more opening you feel to get this wrapped up. Let's see And he gets on here. Day two, by the way, in uh, the start of frame two, we will have a competition question to win tickets to the Champion of Champions. And tickets for that have gone on general sale today. Yeah, I can see that. You couldn't tell me the answer, Dave. It might be the my only chance of getting to the champion of champions. <laughs> well, well, all I'll say, Peter, all I'll say is that it's, it's not an easy question because I asked Phil Yates this question. He, he did not know the answer, which I, amazed me, actually. So it's impossible, then. <laughs> Six. All will be revealed. Yes, yeah, so and no heroics here, I don't think, from Ken. Red colour, red colour, two reds in the open. Seven. Yes, yeah, so 16 from. Just this red to take the first frame. He's looked very positive, and he's very confident, he's got on with it, and. Uh, Harry Hawkins has made no impact really at all on the frame. We'll never know, of course, had he got on a colour when he went through the reds, maybe things would have been different. 13. Yeah, Ken will be looking to try and pot at least one more red to keep Barry sat in his seat. Don't let him get his cue arm going. Although I wouldn't 18. be surprised if Barry doesn't bother coming to the table anyway. Kento at 18. Well, he needs uh, two snookers, but more more realistically, I guess, as you say, just got to feel the conditions. One. Barry Hawkins, he's not actually won a match, you know, since the 2nd of March, because um, he lost the first round of the last few events last season, including at the Crucible. So it was Welsh Open in March, the last time he won a match. Obviously, there haven't been many, we know that, but even so... Trying to get back into Eight. a competitive sort of feel. Thank you, Barry. Nine. Yeah, I always feel that Barry's game, it, it's much more suited to the, the longer formats. You very rarely see Barry play like below par. He's a very good... Eight, eight and a half out of ten every time he plays. So the longer the matches are, the harder he is to 16. beat. Sixteen. Yeah, he was coming back at Jackson Page at the Crucible, and then Page, as we mentioned yesterday, when he was playing, finished off with the two brilliant centuries to sort of hold off the onslaught.
Barry Hawkins, 16. It's simple red now. You'd put the frame beyond any doubt. And the first frame seems like a key frame in these matches. No. One. Get three chances now to at least force a draw. Eight. Yeah, the, the quick fire opening for him. Yeah, he looks pretty sharp, doesn't he? Ken Doherty, as the new season begins, Prince and he's dominated frame, frame one. Barry Hawkins with his hands full. Doherty leads 1 0. Form his temporary class is permanent because on table two, Graham Dot, another world champion, has won the first frame against Aidan Pinay. And here, the 97 okay, champion of the world, you. Ken Doherty, already 1 0 up Ken in to break. quick fire fashion against Barry Hawkins. So as he breaks off in frame two, as I say, we're giving away tickets to two tickets to one of the days at the Champion of Champions, a big event, of course, in Bolton, October the 31st to November the 6th. Tickets have gone on general sale today. Everything's going right for Ken, isn't it? <laughs> Tickets have gone on general sale today. So the question is, Ken Doherty won the World Championship in 1997, as I say, he and the man he beat, Stephen Hendry, in the final will be at the Crucible this week. But the question is, OK, beat Hendry in the final. Who did he beat in the semi-finals? So who did Ken Doherty beat in the World Championship semi-finals in 1997? Send your answers to the official Championship League Twitter account. That's at CL Snooker, at CL Snooker. And we'll uh, give the question another airing later. But uh, in the meantime, we'll reveal the answer this evening. Best of luck. Don't give it away, Peter, if you know it. I think I do know it as well, David, believe it or not. I think I've outdone the great Phil Yates. It had to happen eventually. <laughs> Yeah, what I didn't tell you, though, uh, is that Ken can't go 10 minutes without talking about 97, so he told me, like, a few weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, it was an incredible um, achievement, of course, because Hendry hadn't lost there since 91. He'd won every year, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, and everyone thought he'd win again and keep winning, but Ken... He won a lot of close frames. He made a lot of good clearances in that final. Hendry made five centuries. He actually One. scored more points. But Ken, he won the kick, the crunch frames. Yeah, also, I don't think a lot of people realise just how good Ken actually 
was or still is, but definitely was back then. You know, throughout his, his hey. entire career. <coughs> You know, I think that's why he's so desperate to win the World Seniors, to complete his set, I believe. Well, yeah, he won the World Under-21 Championship, the World Amateur Championship, and the World Professional Championship, so that's the last one, I guess. Ooh, he's missed that one, though. That'll annoy him because, again, you know, he had Can't reds open, he had the eight. black available. That was a good scoring opportunity. No harm done, I don't think, but, yeah, definitely a missed opportunity. Show off pace there again from Barry. Well, can be tempted by this red on the left hand side of the table. Trying to flick it round the back of the black there. One. Oh, I don't think Barry played that for sure. He was playing for the black in the same pocket, but he won't be disappointed with that at all. Head-to-head -head actually does favour Doherty. They've not played for a while, but I'm sure Barry remembers his Crucible debut because he drew Ken, which was hard enough anyway. Won the first frame, all, all was well, and then lost 10-1. Didn't win another frame. What year was that? Uh, 06. 16. Yeah, Barry's underscrewed that by quite a bit. A lot trickier than it should have been, this red. Seventeen. And even though it's gone in a little bit further away now from the yellow, things can soon get out of control. You don't look after that cue ball properly. Yeah, nicely 19. struck, but not out of the woods yet. Shot. That was 19. two or three shots ago when he underscrewed for the, the previous red. Yeah, and the problem he's got is this is a short match. It's only four frames. It might only be three frames the way things are going, so not a lot of time to kind of settle into things. One. Yeah, and you don't so much mind if you're not getting any chances, but when you are getting your hand on the table and you're getting, you've had two or three chances, and you're not taking them, they make you feel a lot worse than not getting any chances at all. Yeah, Ken's hey. just over hit that slightly. He knows he's got Barry on the ropes a little bit. Just looking, one good shot here. Get an angle on the pink to get into the reds if you can. Thank you. Oh, that's just sneaked in, but looks good. Nine. Got 
got to play the pink now and get into the reds, get them all open. Just having a quick look to make sure there's no plants on if he knocks one in. Can't do a T9. Ah, the Cardinal sitting there, isn't it? Taking your eye off the pot. Yeah, he just overran it a fraction, but I didn't expect him to miss it, and he's just absolutely gifted Barry a chance now. Yeah, and this is what he needs, I think, isn't it? Like a simple starter. One. Chance to get his hand on the table, pot a few, and, and finally get involved properly in the match. So, could be a big mistake for the Irishman. He'll be sat there now squirming. Nothing to do with the cue ball now for Barry. Six. Seven. Yeah, of course, he was in a couple of big finals last season, not least the Masters, which is a wonderful week, as it always is, but felt special with all the fans back at Ali Pali and also the Players' Championship. The problem was he ran into the same man in, in both finals, Neil Robertson, who was in golden form in both tournaments. Yeah, Neil played some unbelievable snooker last 14. season. But the same old story for Neil is that for some reason he's not doing it at the World Championship, 15. he's doing it everywhere else. Yeah, it was a, I think it was a little bit different this year, though, because the match with Jack Lazowski, in previous years, Robertson had definitely gone into his shell in matches and was starting to play not his natural brand of snooker, but that wasn't the case in that match. He made a maximum in the final session, but 22. Jack produced the performance of his life, and we know what he's like when he gets going. So it was a surprise, I guess, but it was a different sort of defeat, I think. 23. Yeah, and I saw your right of David on uh, World Snooker. You, like many people, are ticking, tipping Jack to break his duck this season. Well, I got some stick, actually, because people said it was an obvious choice, but it was based on, on his performance in Sheffield. I think something has changed, actually. 30. Meanwhile, Barry Hawkins didn't quite get the cannon there, but he's still on this one. Yeah, I think uh, if he can show that steal, this is Jack Lazowski we're talking about, then I think he can definitely win a tournament. Yeah, because... Obviously, when you get to these finals, he's going to have to beat one of the big hitters to win it. And I think, it was, is it four finals he's lost or five finals? Six. Lost, six now he's lost. I think he's running to a big player in all of them. So you've got to find somewhere to just crack that. Yes, Trump three times, Robertson 39. twice and Mark Selby. <laughs> That's not, you know, they're proper big hitters. Meantime, the missed pink from Ken Doherty has definitely turned things in Barry Hawkins' favour. As I say, needed... An easy starter, he got one, and now he needs this straightforward red, and it should be one each. Yeah, and this is just bread and butter to the top players. 47. Nothing to do with the cue ball. This is what they're good at, keeping it under control, keeping it in close. Proximity to the next ball. And nine times out of ten, it's game over. Like it is here. 54. Yeah, that pink could come back to haunt Ken. Not just now, for the rest of the 55. day. 55. Yeah, absolutely. It could be a very significant shot in the overall context of the, the group. We'll see. Sixty-two. Sixty-three. Barry Hawkins, a player who definitely in the, the Barry Hearn era with more tournaments has thrived. A bit like uh, Stuart Bingham. He was always guarded as a really good player, but just having more opportunities. He started to, of course, challenge for titles. He's won three ranking events. He's been in the World Final, two Masters Finals. Seventy. Seventy. 
Yeah, yeah fantastic player, Barry. Very well respected amongst his fellow pros. Was some shot, wasn't it? I know the frame's well and truly won, but the cobwebs have been well and truly blown away, I think. <coughs> 79. Yeah, it's been flawless. 84. Since that missed pink from Barry. Ninety. Yeah, it was a big moment that Ken Doherty was very much on top. But that one mistake, missing the pink going into the reds, handed this man the initiative, and Barry Hawkins has made ninety from it to level the match. So high quality and stuff, and we're all square Barry at one each. Hawkins. to Leicester. It's been high quality uh, stuff so far. Ken Doherty for a frame and a half was looking really good. Mr. Pink going into the Reds in frame two. Barry Hawkins, who looked a bit sluggish up to that point, okay, made a very crisp 90. Barry Hawkins so break. it's one each and there's two frames remaining. Remember, it can finish in a draw. If that does happen, they'll take a point apiece, which uh, I think is always good for the other players in the group. But if either one of them now wins 3-1, they'll take uh, three points and whoever finishes top Tonight goes into Winners Week. The other two players play next, Yuan Sejun and Lei Pei Fan, both, of course, from China. Graham Dot still 1 0 up on uh, Hayden Pinay on table two. Okay, thank you, Barry having a look at two reds possibly into the middle pocket. Or can he get through to the extreme right one? Oh, tremendous shot. One. He's definitely one of the very best with his hand on the rail. He's always it always seems really reliable, but he's reliable in general, as you said earlier, you know, he, he has a certain level. And if he doesn't dip below it, he's very hard to beat. He yeah, just very, very rarely dips below that. So if you don't play well, you cannot possibly win. Eight. Nine. That might turn out to be a nice kiss. He looks like he's got a little bit of angle now to possibly get off one cushion down into the reds. Looking to just find that gap between pink and red if he can. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised he played 13. it so soft, but he's missed the cannon anyway, so it's just a safety. And that is a 
gross misjudgment from Barry. Barry Hawkins, 13. This is the thing, of course, you know, you, c you can have more than one turning point. We saw one in the last frame. This could be another one here. Two poor safety shots in a row there, one from each player. Now, does this red pass? I think he's having a go at it. Oh, magnificent one. shot. Played to perfection to just screw into the, the reds and leave himself pink into the opposite centre. Well, that probably deserves to be a frame winner. What a fantastic shot. Seven. Awkward though, quite a bit of work to do. Black down the table and pink only really pots into one or two pockets. Eight. Fourteen. Fifteen. Fifteen. You just got to be careful. <coughs> he needs to make sure he leaves himself an angle each time. I get onto the pink until he can clear a path for it properly. Twenty-one. Yeah, I thought he may have uh, kissed that red it's down and to the left of the pink there to knock it out of the way slightly. This looks very awkward to get back onto the pink. Twenty-two. Again, that was a lovely little shot if he's got high enough on the pink, which it looks like he has. Twenty-eight. Just to show you table two, Graham Dot. 1-0 up and about to win frame two. That pink field will secure. He's 43 in front, 35 on. So experience telling there. Well, this pink has played a big part in this match, hasn't it? One way or another. And Barry Hawkins. 35. Of course, seized the opportunity in the last frame. Ken Doherty missed a trick here, though, didn't he? You know, Hawkins sort of butchered that safety, and then Ken, unusually for him, played a, a pretty poor one himself. 36. This has been superb cue ball control, though. It's been inch perfect every shot, and it's needed to be. 
where the balls were positioned. 42. And he's probably just one shot away. Get back on the pink now, and this game is over. Forty-three. Yeah, just come off a little bit short, purely because he caught the red a little bit too thick, put it into the side of the pocket instead of a nice clean pot. I don't expect him to miss this though. Forty-nine. Well, with a red and a pink, and. Ken Doherty will require a snooker. 50. Yeah, like you say, David, it was a, a very poor shot under no pressure, an unforced error from Ken. And again, it's been severely punished. If this pink goes in, it's frame over. Fifty-six. Fifty-seven. Now it looks like he's been doing six hours a day, David, not on the beach. Well, it, yeah, I mean, it just shows you, doesn't it, how good he is, actually. You know, he, he sort of got it all together very quickly. Missed that one, but uh, three Barry snookers Hawkins. needed. 57. Very good 57 from Three Barry Hawkins. Conceded. And Three in fact, Ken Doherty has Barry conceded. Hawkins. So Barry Hawkins has hit a rich vein of form here in Leicester and he leads 2 1. Graham Dot leads Hayden Pinay 2-0. Obviously, Dot, the man with all the experience there. Hayden Pinay uh, hoping to launch some sort of recovery here. And force a draw, but he's been sort of thrown in the lines den a little bit there, hasn't he? Well, everyone was looking good for Ken Doherty, but he's 2-1 down. Hawkins has made breaks of 90 and 57 in the last two frames. So if he can win this one, Hawkins... He takes the three points. Ken Doherty battling now for a draw. Yeah, good young player, that Hayden Penny. Just needs to tighten up on a few areas. Oh, dear. One. That's not what Ken wanted to see. And if this brown goes in the middle, red sitting just below the blue spot,
Yeah, I think he lost in the final qualifying round, did he, Hayden Finney, in the last Q school? That's right, yeah, to uh, Jensen Kendrick, who actually uh, it will be a brand new pro, never been on before. Six. Now, well, I'll be very surprised if Barry doesn't go into the pink full ball, a perfect angle. Get the reds open. And he's been a little bit unlucky there if he can't cue it because he couldn't have fit them much better, I don't <coughs> think. Now, can he get the cue in? Really wants to take the one over the right hand corner. If he can, just come out for the black, but got to be very careful. Yeah, he doesn't like it. This is a much more difficult pot. Twelve. Struck it nicely. He's not looking good for Ken, I'm afraid. And that got struck with plenty of authority. Sixteen. Seventeen. He's just one good shot now away from brain winning chance. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Yeah, you can always tell when a player's happy with the shot, they get straight down to play it very quickly. Get straight into their rhythm. Yeah, you look at the faces, don't you? If you're not sure if he was on that red, just look at his face. There was uh, no adverse reaction. Yeah, and then you look at Ken's face and it's the off complete opposite. <laughs> well, it's been incredible, really, hasn't it? You know, he started, he looked so pumped up at the start. Ken Doherty was playing good stuff, but that missed pink in frame two has turned the match around. Yeah, 100%. Couldn't agree more. And yeah, he looked almost certain to go 2 0 up. The way the reds open, Ken. Hasn't really played a shot. There's still a lifeline here because he's he's fallen a little short of the blue, so he'd have to leave himself this next red at longer range. And it's most likely to be the one on the extreme left. Slightly easier to get position. If you don't have to rely on any cannons. This is probably Ken's last hope. This goes in and he gets on the on the black. One of the few players that uses the rest with the opposite hand. Thirty nine. Yes, I've still got a hope, Ken. All he can do is really trickle this black in now and play the red in the middle pocket from near the black cushion, I think. Five. 
46. Yeah, very difficult shot this one. Or is it? 47. I'll tell you what, day one of the season, first match, you know, that's a terrific plot, isn't it? This has been a quick kill if you can close it out. We've only been going about 45 minutes. Barry Hawkins 51. made a, a slowish start, but he soon caught up. Another half century that he's hoping to turn into a match winning break. He's starting to strike the ball with real authority now and going in the centre of the pocket. Shots are hitting the back of the leather. All came from a fluke, which won't make Ken feel any better, I'm afraid. 59. Well, it's not impossible 60. to win the group having lost a match. It actually nearly happened yesterday. Jackson Page didn't have a chance, but it's quite a rare event. So obviously, Doherty will have to win his last two now against the two Chinese players, Yuan Sijun and Lei Pei Fan, who, of course, play each other next. Check of the scores from Hawkins tells him this red, and he's 67. the winner. But not only that, he's won very impressively. I think the thing with that is, though, I think it's hard to win the match if you lose to the top seeds because it's hard to see the top seed not going on to win at least one more match. Well, that's the problem, yeah. You're quite right. You're relying on other results as well. And, you know, a sort of ser a series of scenarios that are probably not going to happen. So, yeah, Hawkins already looking like uh, the favourite here five. in this group. We'll see. It's a long day. He's got the luxury of playing the last match, so he'll know when he plays Johan Sijon later exactly what the position is. Yeah, he'll have quite a long wait now, won't he? Is he back on tonight? Yeah, so he's got to just mooch around for a few hours now. Well, let's see 83. if he can crown this performance with a century. Feels like it deserves one, really. 84. Yeah, has been fabulous cue ball control for all three frames. Never really looked like missing because never really had many difficult shots to play. Yeah, his control is uh, superb, isn't it? And uh, that's why he's had the success he's had and the consistency 92. he's had. Hoping, as everyone is, it's going to be a successful season. I remember when he won his first ranking title, the Australian Open in 2012. That was the first event, actually, of that season. And in the last event of that season, he got to the final of the World Championship, 99. where he really pressed Ronnie O'Sullivan. So this red for a century. What a wonderful one start to the campaign from Barry Hawkins. Excellent. Yeah, superb. And I think Barry probably, with his record as a pro, he probably deserves a, a triple crown on his under his belt. I'm sure that's what he's aiming for. Get one of the big three. 105. Well, if he can start the season well, you never know when he goes into those major events. He's made 105 to Barry win the match. Hawkins, so Ken Doherty was looking good until he missed that pick in point. frame two. Then it all went against him. Hawkins made breaks of 90, 57 and 105. He's the winner, 3-1. And coming up next, it's Yuan Sijun against Lei Peifan.